हेलो एवरीवन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल दिस साइड प्रिया भाटिया एंड इन दिस स्पेसिफिक वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द चार्ट जीपीटी एडवांसमेंट यस आई थिंक फ्रॉम द पास्ट फ्यू डेज यू कैन सी लिंक इन ट्विटर एवरीथिंग इज फीडेड विद द एडवांसमेंट्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द चार्ट जीपीटी प्लेटफॉर्म ओपन ए आई ओवन प्रिव्यू ब्लॉग केम अप राइट देर आर लॉट ऑफ वीडियोज विच वी कैन सी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दैट पार्ट they have showcased the demonstration for the same in lot many different kind of domains whether it be a healthcare uh, whether it be of economics and there are many more right so today in this specific video i was just uh, uh, you know looking into that research part and the technical side for the same how they have done what are the evaluation metrics which they have picked up uh what kind of you know comparison they have made between the previous models and the new model uh, which is which had come up so i will try to uh, deliver in this specific video with respect to the inferences which i have made and on top of this uh, definitely as i always say that this is a very vast domain and uh, you know as a data scientist as uh, someone who is really interested towards this specific domain uh i think we have a responsibility to be uh, up to that level wherever the advancements is there i think we should spend our own time to self study and do our research on top of that otherwise definitely we will be lag behind and even after this session will get over uh, please try to first of all watch this video till the very end so that it will be very easy for you to grasp the content which they have uh, you know given to us uh, i will try to attach the uh, you know documentation and whatever things are required to study and whatever things i am referring over here in this video after the session you can try and you know uh, read line by line what they are trying to infer they uh, there are videos available please try to watch those demo videos which will give you a better clarity uh, i will try to give you in a short and crisp manner the uh, inferences of the same and then maybe uh, you can try and explore more about the about the same which i am trying to talk about over here uh we will start from a basic thing and then we will see that what amazing things they have done so without wasting any time let's get started and uh before getting started please make sure you will hit like button and share this specific video with each and every one who is really interested towards uh recent advancements happening in this open ai space so i think that now you can see my screen and this is the article which you have uh you, you will be able to observe that on 12th of september 2024 this specific open ai preview came up which is a new series of reasoning model for solving the hard level problems now uh before deep diving into this specific part uh i think you all know the flow right uh here if you will be able to observe again many people do have that question in their he uh, head that uh, what if you know these new series are coming up do we lose our job or something like that so first of all i think you should be clear with the flow with respect to each and every tool that we are having nowadays and definitely in future uh, updates will come up so here if you can see the flow would be that first of all initially human thinks right human thinks and after that whatever be the uh, business use case or the problem that human is working upon as per that human will try to give a prompt to the uh, ai based tool whether it's a chat gpt whether it's a mid journey whether it's this new advancements which are happening so human simply tries to uh, give the prompts to the ai ai specific tools and tries to give an appropriate context because the response which the user will be able to get via these specific tools will depend on the prompt which you have provided although as we are going in 2024 i think uh, in the upcoming year again uh, these models will be so smart that they will be able to understand even though we will provide the lesser context but still giving an appropriate question is very very important to get the appropriate result as well after that uh, after afterwards we will be able to observe that that specific tools ai based tools will give us a response or the result so we got some results now this is where uh, the job is not finished 
if the job will be finished then again uh, there is no need of human to be available uh, in the companies right so that is the main reason after which our role will come up where human builds on top of that human tries to think over it that what are the results whether they are correct or not so human builds on top of those specific results and i think that is where the major change happened right initially what happened is we need to search from scratch and try to work whether we are writing a code whether we are building something new whether we are launching our new startup we have to build everything from scratch and we need to think a lot of stuff but nowadays things are quite easier in a way that we have some tool we are writing some prompt we are getting some response and on top of that we are using our brain that how can we optimize more how can we get a better results and afterwards at the end of the day whatever be the task we are doing or whatever be the project work we are doing we try to deliver that human delivers that is the complete flow right uh, i think which everyone is doing in their in their work as well so this is a complete flow it's not that completely everything is done by ai but ai tools like chat gpt plays a very crucial role nowadays in order to accomplish any task in an efficient manner and like for me i am using this specific tool quite heavily in almost all of the things whether i am doing my research whether i am doing uh, you know i am creating content i am learning something new i am i am seeing the evaluation or stats behind my yt uh, looking for the new content uh, planning a thumbnail anything or everything yes for few things response are not quite efficient for few things it's super awesome right so that is something which we have observed now what was the problem which was there in the chat gpt tool uh, which even i have observed because i used to teach dsa i have a lot of task with related to the uh, problem solving skill set and what i have been observed in that specific tool and even i think in the past few videos uh, when the tool came up i have talked about the same that with respect to the dsa specific problem the tool is not that much efficient in terms of giving a correct code yes for few famous problems it will be able to give us a good response but there are problems which might be not available on the web and the tool is not that much efficient to give us a great responses for that part and that is where i think whenever we are talking about any specific ai based tool there are two components right uh, one is something that okay we are getting something within a optimized time which is what we will measure by a speed aspect and another thing is thinking aspect right there are two components with respect to every kind of work which we are doing even in the companies uh, we our major focus is to give the things on time deliverables should be done as per the you know parameters which are designed by the company so speed is something which yes is an important factor and when we are working with the chat gpt platform till so far i think within few seconds it will be able to curate a response right and even if you will be having a plus version or not doesn't care it will be able to give us a response as soon as possible with respect to whatever prompt you are asking but now in this specific version which i have observed the major changes that they have shifted with respect to the thinking part and that is where whenever thought process comes into picture uh, definitely it will take more time it might take for few problems more time as comparable to the previous version but that comes up with a more accuracy as well that comes up with a more accuracy as well right and that is what i think they have talked about in the complete article which they have published uh the main thing which you will be able to observe even they have talked about that whatever be the logical thinking ability uh where you can see in physics you can see in dsa part per se there are multiple platforms where people usually go and uh, work upon it to enhance their skill set or uh, whether we are talking about the code forces whether we are talking about specific physics we are talking about the simple or the critical mathematics portion right in all of these aspects thinking or thought process plays a very critical role in any of the entrance exams whether it be of 
specifically if i'll talk about iits you will be able to observe that they usually prefer that candidate which is having a lot of a uh, great critical thinking ability and this is where i think till so far the ai based tools are lagging and that is why they won't be able to perform a great result even though they are giving us a results uh, in a very low time part speed is very good that is quite efficient but the thought process the uh, results i have seen for few problems they won't be able to give a optimized time complexity results so this is where i think they have worked upon so you you will be able to observe this is what they have mentioned in our test the next model update performs similarly to phd students on challenging benchmark task in physics chemistry and biology so you can compare that a person who has done phd or who is doing that level of uh, education that level of critical thinking if my model is able to perform that's a great job right we also found that it excels in math and coding which i was talking about in qualifying exams for imo gpt 4 or correctly solved only 13% of problems reasoning models scored 83% their coding abilities were evaluated and reached 89th percentile in code forces competition so it's great it's great right so here you can see that uh, what they are talking about let me i'm i'm, I'm not covering up each and everything i can't obviously in the one video uh, i don't want it to be a very long video so what i would suggest that after the session will get over i'll attach these links you can just go and refer right so here you can see that we are also releasing open ai o1 mini so it's a faster cheaper reasoning model which is particularly effective effective at a coding part per se as a smaller smaller model o1 mini is 80% cheaper than the o1 preview which is a powerful cost effective model for applications which require reasoning but not broad world knowledge so now here they are talking about how we can do a usage i think that is something which you will clearly able to see and obviously it is not available for now for chat gpt free users uh, in in future they are saying that they are planning to give an access of mini part but uh, for those who have a plus version they will be able to access it how they will be able to access it they have already showcased that now here are multiple videos uh, which i want everyone to you know go through that for example i was listening few videos with respect to the coding part with respect to the healthcare part right how this open ai o1 is really helpful in order to do their work uh, please try to listen all of these videos which they have mentioned now in terms of doing the evaluation i just want to showcase you a few more things if you will be able to observe what they have observed is that the preview initially gpt 40 in the competition math i was talking about thinking part right 13.4 is the accuracy uh, o1 56.7 and then further enhancement they have done and it is 83.3 o1 preview is 56.7 and o1 is 83.3 means it's a more powerful model than o1 preview as well and here you can see competition code code forces they have again compared the performance gpt 40 is only 11 percentile G O one preview is sixty two percentile, and O one is eighty nine percentile. So you can imagine how powerful it is. Again, PhD level science questions, GPT four O performance is fifty fifty six point one accuracy. O one preview is seventy eight point three. O one is seventy eight, and even expert human, if you will try to see, it's sixty nine point seven accurate. So you can see O one is beating the expert human accuracy as well. again you can see the performance as per the ml benchmarks as per the exams as per the phd level questions as per the mmlu categories so you can see that 60.3 which uh, they are highlighting is the performance of gpt4 o and with the help of this o1 specific model how much improvement uh, in terms of each and every specific domain uh, this model gives us and in every kind of scenario you will be able to observe that it is quite good it is quite good right so you can you can clearly study that in what they are mentioning o1 rivals the performance of human experts do well on maths so basic funda is that they have simply focused on the thinking process over here this is what i have observed in each and every part of this specific uh, evaluation so here you can see we have evaluated o1 on gpqa diamond a difficult intelligence benchmark which tests for expertise in chemistry physics and bio 
in order to compare models to humans we recruited experts with phds to answer these questions so definitely uh, there will be a reinforcement learning which plays a very important role in terms of training the model and that's what i have read as well so you, you can see chain of thought similar to how a human may think for a long time before responding to a difficult question o1 uses a chain of thought when attempting to solve a problem this is really interesting concept which comes under uh, reinforcement learning only uh, you can just explore about this specific space where a uh, human being is giving a feedback with respect to uh, the kind of responses which they are getting and according to that a score is provided uh, whether maybe out of 5 4 3 2 1 depending upon how much it is accurate so it's like chain of thought is there where th through reinforcement learning a a1 learns to hone its own chain of th thought refine the strategies it is using so that is why i told you that you know even though the maybe the speed wise it might compromise but because obviously when when we do as a human being got some uh, difficult problem we usually spend a lot of time before jumping towards the result so same thing is happening over here they using a ch chain of thought concept it learns to recognize correct its mistake automatically learns to break down tricky steps into simpler ones learns to try a different approach when the current one is not working and this process dramatically improves the model ability to, to reason this is one of the most important paragraphs that huh, how the internal training is going on to illustrate this leap forward we showcase the chain of thought from oven preview on several difficult problems so you can just have a look on to that part but yeah this is something which is a very interesting part uh, uh, out of the complete portion which i have found out then you can see again the performance in the code forces we already have discussed that it it performs pretty well i think oven io is something which is a uh, very huge model giving a super performance human preference evaluation is again a very interesting para where you can see that in addition to exams and academia we have done the evaluation of human preference of oven preview versus gpt 4 on challenging open ended prompts in this evaluation human trainers were shown responses to a prompt from oven preview and this and voted for which response they preferred oven preview is preferred to gpt 4o by a large margin in reasoning heavy categories like data analysis coding and maths so that is where the major difference lies uh, and again the the judgment is given by the expertise only so that would be definitely very much correct because human beings again as i told you the complete life cycle comes into picture and definitely they will they will think about it that which specific model is performing way better than the other one and definitely their evaluation metric won't be wrong it's not that we are relying just on numbers we are relying on numbers plus the human evaluation is being done by the great experts who have already done their phd so you can just try to read out all these things uh, chain of thought conclusion what they are talking about so oven significantly advances the state of art in ai reasoning we plan to improve the uh, release the improved versions as we continue iterating we expect these new reasoning capabilities will remove our ability will improve our ability to align the models to human values and principles we believe o1 and its successors will unlock many use cases for ai in science coding maths and related fields i think it's it's, it's going to be so much interesting in the future part and i'm looking forward to it in terms of learning seeing how the things are going on uh, but yeah it's 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 completely a very interesting space uh, all about so i hope that this specific video will give you an idea that uh, how basically the previous models vary from this specific model and where the major difference lies and i highly suggest everyone i'll try to attach all of these article links in the description of this video please go and do check it out and definitely i also want to see your comments on the same after reading everything out that what do you think uh, you know is that something interesting exciting you or uh, is that something which is worrying you right with this let's end today's video i'll see you all in the upcoming video bye bye everyone and see ya